Welcome to the Poe Politikin Show. Founded in 2008, Poe Politikin is a hip-hop meets self-help brand. With each interview, we teach the babies and share success secrets with you, the listener. Past guests of the Poe Politikin Show include Yo Gotti, Currency, MC Light, BG, Dead Press, Rashida, Project Pat, and more. We also showcase the future upcoming stars of hip-hop. Subscribe on iTunes and get automatic updates of each podcast episode. Popolitikin.com. What up, everybody? CD Rom. We on Popolitik. Drop a new fire coming your way. Catch me at Rami at R A M E E Y A C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. All right. Said I'm feeling myself, feeling my wealth, feeling my bag, I'm feeling my belt, feeling my kicks, feeling my bitch, you feeling my shit, you feeling my lip. Yeah, you know she fucking with me, cause I'm on one. But if she slowing up my money, then she long gone. Yeah, I did it myself, need no help. Moving in stealth, the cards I was dealt. Yeah, feeling my wrist, feeling my whip, feeling my bread, I ain't never gon' quit. Yeah, you know I had to get it on my own. And if you fucking up my money, bitch, be long gone Hit this little bitch from the city Flew it to the crib just to hit You know I started with a little flip Turned out this bitch was a shit Hit this little bitch from the slot I'm just tryna smash it all out Fucking with the way she matched my fly Shorty just became my ride or die Yeah, yeah Stuntin' on these niggas and she stuntin' on these hoes I love her when we fuck and she puttin' on my clothes I'd only fuck with her even if she had a clone The way she move that body make a nigga go, oh, oh Wait a fucking minute, let me get back to my motherfucking business Only way I'm winning if a nigga all up in it Used to be mean, now it's her up in the kitchen Baby, stop your bitch, I'm just tryna do us For these lame ass niggas tryna screw us All these hatin' ass bitches tryna boo us Cause they know we fucking winning, they just lose us I'm feeling myself, feeling my wealth Feeling my bag, I'm feeling my belt Feeling my kicks, feeling my bitch Feeling my shit, feeling my lip Yeah, you know she fucking with me cause I'm on Slowing up my money, then she long gone Yeah, I did it myself, need no help Moving in stealth, the cars I was dealt I'm feeling my wrist, feeling my whip Feeling my bread, I ain't never gon' quit Yeah, you know I had to get it on my own, son And if you fucking up my money, bitch, be long gone Welcome back to Poe Politicking, your home for self-help meets hip-hop. Make sure you download our app on iTunes, listen to us on SoundCloud, Spreaker, wherever you listen to podcasts that listen to us. We're on iHeartRadio, too. I'm now politicking my homie CD Rhyme. How you doing, bro? Doing good, man. Thanks for having me. No doubt, bro. So how did, uh, what's the meaning behind your name? So I'm actually Egyptian and black, so my name is Rami, and I just go by CD Rhyme because that's my era. I used to always hustle them CD rounds back in the day. Just always stuck. And then I'm confused. I thought Egyptian was black. I mean, it is really. I guess <laughs> we in Africa. <laughs> yeah, I'm confused. That's that's how I feel like that's the game they be trying to put on us right now. They be trying to act like Egyptians, like some other people, or some shit. Yeah. Nah, my pops is pops was like black from Nigeria, and then my mom's family from Egypt. So, all right, got the best of both worlds out here. You feel me? Cool. And then why is music important to you? And music's everything, bro. It's a vibe. It's a feeling. That's how, it's a movement. You know what I mean? That's, a, that's how people get motivated, inspired. 
Like music is everything to me. It's a feeling. Like when I when I perform or when I put my music out, it's all about how I feel at that moment in time in my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You actually went to the next question. I was gonna ask you. I mean, you might not be able to describe it, but I was I was gonna say, can you describe the feeling it gives you? Well, it made me feel great. Or like honestly, I love grinding. I love making music, and then when I'm done, there's no better feeling than listening to the final product. Like, nobody's a bigger fan of, of CD-ROM than me. Like, I dead-ass listen to my own music all day, all night, on repeat. And I just keep coming up with more bars, making more music, and that's it. Yeah, I was going to ask you, so how do you, do you do you classify, classify yourself as a singer or a rapper? Because I was kind of hearing both, so I didn't really know how you were well, named. I, I kind of just, I call myself an artist, all like, right. in every way. Like, I can sing sometimes, I can rap sometimes, I can make beats with my mouth, whatever, like, it don't matter. I, I'm artistic in every way, in my opinion, like, everything to me is a canvas. Even my clothes, if you look at the shit I wear, most of the time, I make it. You know what I'm saying? Whether I paint on it, whether I cut something up myself and make it myself, like, yeah, that's pretty much it. I consider, consider myself an artist in every way. So how how long you been involved with fashion? Uh, I've been in the fashion game for a long time. I've been making my own clothes since like probably for like five to seven years now. But yeah, it's pretty dope when you see all your homies rocking your shit all the time and shit. You know what I'm saying? They give us some fashion tips. Whatever feels right. You know what I'm saying? That's really it. You want to feel comfortable. You want to look in that mirror and be like, damn, you know I'm getting it tonight, son. <laughs> this was up. So I want you to talk about your background, um, how long you've been involved with music, what drove you into it. I've been, I've been in music for like five years as well. I've been like up and down. Uh, couldn't really find my sound for a little bit. I felt like people didn't take me seriously in the beginning. And then as I evolved and kept creating, I linked up with the right people who believed in me, who heard my shit, and they're like, yo, this shit is fire. Just keep grinding. You got potential. And people that are willing to work with me just kept coming along. You know what I'm saying? Then more people and more people kept hitting me up, more producers, more engineers. Like, yo, I got this for you. I got this for you. And ever since then, I've kind of just been grinding. OD. I kind of got a good rip out here now. I live in Jersey right now, so... Yeah, who were some of your influences? My influences, that's a lot. I love the way James Brown changes his voice, OD. Young Thug is probably my favorite artist out right now. Kodak. Mm. Kodak is definitely up there. Lil Wayne was definitely, like, number one all time, in my opinion. That motherfucker was creative as hell. His bars, his metaphors, and analogies, on another level. Yeah, he be spinning. So what um what are some of your current projects you working on right now? Right now I got a album about to drop at the end of the month. Uh, I don't have the title for it yet. It's gonna be like ten, twelve tracks. I keep dropping singles. I got a couple more singles about to drop this week and next week. I got another video coming out next week. I stay in the studio, so the grind is grind is everything to me. I love it, so it's fun. You know what I mean? Hmm. And then what are some things you do far as self-improvement? Self-improvement. I just try to be the best person I can be, man. Like, I've been through the worst, you know what I'm saying? Up and down. My life has been up and down. I just try to be the best person I can be and just tell the story. Like, every day I just tell my story. And the more I'm in the studio, the more creative people I work with, the better I get because I vibe off of their opinions, off of their sound, off of their movement you know what i'm saying hmm. and what time. are some of your interests outside of uh, you saw about the fashion and the music but what are some of your interests outside of those those are two of the main ones like honestly mm -hmm. business business is something i'm big into like i own a couple businesses right now just stay hustling mm -hmm. i got my money up hustling and then i kind of invested into a like a shoe company and then i invested into a sunglass company and then a bag company and those are doing pretty well right now. Thank God. What's up? So what are some marketing and promotional tips you'll give to a new artist? Hmm. Marketing and promotional tips. I mean, everything you can get 
out there, get it out there. My thing is put, keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding, and just put it out for the world to see. Eventually, it'll just keep building and building and building. It's like a snowball effect. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Throw your product out there, let it go down the hill, and watch it grow as it gets to the bottom. Or in this case, the top. You feel me? And I want you to tell the listeners why they should check for you. Why should they go check your music out? Oh, man. I'm, I'm the hottest out right now. I'm telling you. You like some creativity? My albums are called Diverse and Just Different. Those are the two albums out right now. And if you listen to my music, there's not two tracks that even sound similar, in my opinion. I got some, so many different tones to my voice, the way I play with my voice. Like, I don't know. I try, like I said, Young Thug, my inspiration, so... I love the way he plays with his voice. His voice is an instrument, you know what I'm saying? But how That's you like I Young t- Thug and then you like Lil Wayne? <laughs> I thought they they supposed, they supposed to be like beefing or whatever. Man, that, that I mean, they could be beefing, but art is art. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll, I'll never knock creativity. Art is just, I admire art. That's really what it come down to. So did you think, you thought when he did that barter CD, you thought that was cool? That, that was Fucking yeah, hell yeah! That was one of the dopest CDs he had. But you thought it was cool how he kind of ripped on Lil Wayne's Carter. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to get up to the top. <laughs> at that point, you know what I'm saying? He was he was kind of just coming up. That CD is what really put him up top. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's the best piece of advice you ever received? The best piece of advice? Hmm. There's so many. I would say just just keep working. Like even when you down, just get right back up and keep going. The past is the past. You mm. gotta work on today. What would you like to say to your fans? I would like to say, yo, just keep listening. God bless you all. I love you all. And just keep keep listening, and y'all. I'm gonna keep dropping fire hits after hits after hits. That's all I put out. What's up? So what's the, what's the what's your your number one song right now? Like you feel like your number one hit song right now? I'm gonna be real with you. I love all my music, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love all my music. I love like from the diverse album. That whole diverse album is fire. Through the city, my party for me. Got to do with me. All about the money. Just a little five track album. That shit was fire. That was my that was my debut album, my freshman album. And then three months later, I dropped uh, just different. And on those tracks, I got all different kinds of shit. I got some Caribbean vibes on there. I got some hard shit on there. There's a track called Godly. I was OD fucked up in the in the studio. That shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I'd like uh, to uh, describe your process in the studio, like how you make music. Hmm. So sometimes, it's like I said, it's just a vibe. It depends how I am. Sometimes I just pull up, do my thing. I usually listen to a couple beats. But as soon as that beat turns on, like I, I know, like I know that's the one, or I know that's not the one. You give me like three seconds, and that's it. That's all I need to know. Like, all right, this is the beat I'm gonna rock with today, and I kind of just get in the booth, I freestyle, get like the feel of what flows I want to rock, and then I just, I just write my, my analogies, metaphors, bars like that. It's all feeling, man. You gotta get in there, feel it out. Just ride the wave. All right, man. I want to say thanks for coming through politicking with me. Oh, you already know, bro. Thanks for having me, man. You want to tell me your social media and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch me at Rami Yak, R-A-M-E-E-Y-A-C. That's Twitter. That's Instagram. Yeah, check me out, yo. My Instagram popping. I'll show you how to really stay fly. Yeah, you like overseas or something right now, ain't you? Yeah, I was just in uh, Punta Cana. You know, it's a shorty out there. Show some love for her birthday and shit. But we back now. I got a studio session in like two hours. About to hit another banger, you feel me? Popolitikin.com. The Popolitikin Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO audio and get an audio book of your choice free with a 30 day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. 
With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash P-O-Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power.